So today we are checking out the Roborock X6 Max V Robot Vacuum. So this is Roborock's uh, flagship robot cleaner. Well, in case you have never heard of Roborock before, but I mean, some of you might never heard of them before because they have just landed here in Malaysia. And straight away, well, we've got a chance to review the X6 Max V. And here is our experience. And we use this uh, robot vacuum for the past one month over here in our office. Now, robot vacuums is, uh, I mean, a lot of people have been saying robot vacuum is for those people who are lazy to clean. Well, that is partially true because in our office here, we already moved in here for like about almost a year already. And we actually got two vacuum cleaners, but we never really use it that often because we are always busy with uh, work and stuff like that. So the carpet floor here is kind of dirty and it's a good thing when we receive the X6 Max V over here and finally we got someone to help us with the office cleaning. Now this model comes with both vacuum and mopping functions. Now before we get into all the features and functions of the X6 Max V, we must talk about the components and accessories that comes together with this robot vacuum. First, of course, you get the X6 Max V uh, robot vacuum and as well as this, uh, what do you call this thing again? Mopping module. Because if you want to use the mop function, you will have to attach this uh, module to it. The bottom cloth is attached uh, by Velcro to this piece of plastic. And interestingly, they are using this kind of slide-in mechanism design. Uh, it is a very good design because when you slide it in and secure it with velcro at the back you can actually mop it without fearing that this uh, piece of cloth will get tear off by just the velcro at the front if you detach this thing your vacuum cleaner will just function as a standard vacuum cleaner now also we already had the charging station uh, installed at the power socket over there so I'm not going to touch that for now so they also included this very special little floor mat I initially I did not expect uh, any uses of this thing but then a friend of us our colleague here and he actually reminded me that since this vacuum cleaner has a mopping function this is a very essential component for you to install it you can stick it to the wooden floor so that after the robot vacuum is done with the mopping at least when it goes back to the charging station, the damp cloth will not damage the wooden floor. All those accessories aside, uh, we pretty much have everything uh, installed on the robot vacuum already. So basically, down here, they actually included this very handy brush for you to clean the components and I mean whatever parts you come with. Uh. And this is a, the dustbin, detachable from the main unit. Uh, I personally have a complaint for this dustbin because it is kind of small and because of the opening is facing downwards over here it kind of give me I don't really like when I take it out because it's some sort of give you an impression where the dust will fall out from there if you're not handling well at the back here there's a HEPA filter surprisingly they are allowing you to like detach it and then wash it most of the time uh, these kind of vacuum cleaner manufacturers, they will discourage you from washing the HEPA filters because most of the time they are using paper base. But this one, actually we wash it once and then leave it dry and then install it back and it works just as this. And if you so, just so happen to like damage it, at least they still provide you one extra HEPA filter replacement inside the box. And now the setup process is relatively easy. First, you just need to set up the charging dock to your I mean selected position inside your home but make sure you keep some uh, at least half a meter uh, space on both sides of the charging dock so that at least you can let the robot vacuum some wiggle room to move around when it tries to go back to the charging dock and when you first time boot up this robot vacuum of course you will definitely need to use the app there are two apps options for you to choose from one you can use the official robot rod app or you can also use the Mi Home app. Now because we have been using Xiaomi product in our office here, you know we have used some of their Yi lights in our office. So Mi Home straight away detects uh, the robot vacuum and we can add it into our list of 
products or smart things in Mi Home. And straight away, we can update the firmware. Yes, you will need to upgrade this robot vacuum firmware. So before we go deep into the app functions and features and everything, I must talk about the features that you can actually use without the app. You know, sometimes when we stay at home, some of our housemates or parents, they don't want to fiddle around with the apps. When the robot vacuum is docked at the charging station, by pressing the power button will actually triggers the cleaning function. That means it will go around your house and start cleaning. Basically, just start cleaning and then once it is done, it will go back to the charging dock. And what if, if you want to just clean a certain portion of the area where you've seen like it is very dirty, there is actually a spot cleaning function built right into the robot vacuum itself. So you just need to carry the robot vacuum to that area, press the spot cleaning button, and it will clean that particular area in 3 meter by 3 meter range. So after it is done, it will go back to the charging dock again. Again, like I said, the robot vacuum is very smart and it somehow knows where it is going. But of course, before that, I must talk about the app itself. Now, once you got the app uh, installed and then paired to the robot vacuum, for the first time you start doing the cleaning, the vacuum will start to record the surroundings, including all your furniture, uh, some of the parts that they cannot go through, including some of the walls and pillars and everything. After the first run, you basically have your home map out in your Mi Home app already. Now once you have the map plot out by the robot vacuum, there are more functions inside the app for you to play around with. For example, you can set no-go zone, especially some of the areas you don't want the robot vacuum to get closer to. Just like our studio over here, uh, because there is a lot of cables lying around, so we just prefer it not to come here when it's cleaning. Once you got the map mapped out by the robot vacuum, you have actually more features to play around inside the app. Number one, you can also separate your house into different sections. For example, living room, bedroom, kitchen, or whatever places you want it to be. So that you can actually tell the robot vacuum to clean a certain section of the house without taking up too much time. And just now we mentioned that the robot vacuum itself has spot cleaning function. If you're using the app, you can actually have a much more uh, flexible zone cleaning function. Inside the app, you can actually draw a certain area on the map and then tell the robot vacuum to just clean this session. Now, inside the app, you can also make adjustments to the performance of the robot vacuum. For example, you want the robot vacuum to be uh, more powerful at the suction. Or besides, if you are using uh, carpets at home, you can actually enable carpet mode as well. I'm not too sure what kind of difference it makes, but perhaps they uh, just increase the strength of the suction power so that it can pick up all the uh, dust and pieces of dust rubbish out of the carpet. Apart from that, you can also configure the water level of the I mean, water tank so that it can determine how many water you want to use to mop the floor. But in our case, since we are not really uh, using the mopping function, so we did a rather unscientific test on this table. So we just fill up the tank and then mount this uh, mopping module under the vacuum cleaner and then let it roll. The result is pretty surprising. Number one is, of course, the cliff sensor is working very well. Cliff sensor is some sort of a proximity sensor. They actually installed like four of them surrounding the front of the robot vacuum. When it goes near to the edge of the table, it will stop and then I mean, turn around to find another way to go through. So we actually mop our whole table without any issue. However, I am not telling you to use this as an overpriced table wiping machine. The function of the cliff sensor is simply for you to use at your home in case you have staircases. This robot vacuum at least won't be that stupid to go rolling down the stairs. Nah, yeah. <laughs> and now finally, the most important part, you have everything uh, vacuumed, your house is clean and everything. 
What about maintenance of the robot vacuum? Like I said just now, the dustbin can be easy taken out and throw out all the dust it, it gathers and you can clean the uh, HEPA filter as well. They also included this fancy little brush for you to clean, especially this part. The roller brush over here. Now taking it out is very easy as well. You just have to like remove the securing plastic thingy over here and then you can actually just take out the brush and use the cutter down there to remove all those uh, hair strands and including carpet strips. Now in this case we are experiencing uh, some challenges because our building here, especially the carpet, is quite old already and some of them has been shedding dust and strains and things like that. So it gets tangled in the brush and thankfully they, the tool managed to help us with the removal of all the I mean, stray stuff and things like that. However, uh, we did experience one of the most bizarre thing is that one of our cables got stuck inside the, the robot vacuum so like like I said the user manual actually recommends you to at least do some basic cleanup of your the cleaning surroundings like remove all your charging cables and everything out of the way because yes the robot vacuum do have the lidar sensor and the stereo camera in front of it to detect and avoid some of those like pet thumbs yeah however it won't be smart enough to detect let's say if your cable is black color and your floor is black color as well so those are challenges for this kind of smart thingy and that brings us to the ai features of this s6 max v now this like i mentioned first thing is the lidar sensor it is capable of detecting most 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 of the stuff that goes around the robot vacuum like when we tested it with uh, someone standing in front of the robot vacuum yes it will know it and then somehow takes a picture of the obstacles and then save it so you at least know what's going on why the robot vacuum stopped halfway and didn't do its job that's the thing but the picture saving function will require you to give the permission for the app to actually save the picture for privacy reasons now in terms of the ai detection i would say it is pretty smart the app itself is actually showing you the confidence level when they say this is a shoe they at least tell you okay i'm about 80 percent confidence this is a shoe for example we actually had a encounter this robot had an encounter with uh, well i would call that the, the carpet residue of all the, the strain and stuff like that uh, it determines it as a animal dump uh, which it is not but good thing it didn't go through otherwise the the, the strings and the strings and everything would just stuck into the roller but that's the the function for you over there so all in all after using this uh robo rock s6 max v for about one month for now I would say our experience has been a very pleasant one. Number one is our floor is way cleaner than before. I mean, from before when no none of us has been cleaning. So good job for <laughs> helping us to clean because we actually set a schedule and let it go through around. And of course, uh, one of the most important thing is the price. I, according to Roborock, the S6 Max V, the flagship model, is officially priced at 3,999 ringgit Malaysia. I know it is a rather steep price to pay for a robot vacuum, but consider this is a top of the end version robot vacuum. I would say, in terms of these features and the design and all the intrinsic details they have put into the designing of this uh, robot vacuum I would say 4000 ringgit Malaysia is a pretty good deal however however as far as I know robot rock actually has quite a lot of uh, promotions and 
uh, things going on around. So if you happen to stumble into uh, the chance when they are having some sort of promotion and discount, be sure to grab it while stock still lasts. So that's all we want to say about the Roborock S6 Max V. Do let us know what you guys think about this robot vacuum and I'll see you guys in the next video.